Let's talk about what's going on in Yemen. The United Nations says it has the worst humanitarian crisis on the planet. And in a world with all sorts of problems, that is saying something. Yemen went from being the heart of ancient Arabia to one of the poorest countries in the Middle East. And for the last five years, it's been torn apart by war. Local groups on the ground are fighting each other while a Saudi-led coalition bombs from above. And caught in the fighting are millions of Yemenis desperately struggling to survive. Which brings us to Yemen's immense humanitarian crisis. In a country of 29 million people, the UN says 24 million depend on some kind of humanitarian help. More than 11 million children in need of humanitarian aid, nearly every single Yemeni child. This year, around 400,000 children risk death from starvation. <laughs> Fatima was married when she was 15. When she noticed her daughter, Intasar, losing weight and convulsing, she brought her here. She's crying without sound. You must be very worried. Two days after we met Fatima, her daughter Intasar had a cardiac arrest and died. In the north, pockets of people are now living in famine-like conditions. Mariam lives with her family in a camp for displaced people. And what's the problem with his hands? What happened? Oh my gosh, it's red raw. Why? Why is he eating his fingers? When you're dealing with a humanitarian disaster with over 20 million people in need of aid, over 8 million of whom don't have proper access to food, you put yourself in a world alone with them. So I want you to actually tune out everybody else that's involved, all the political factors involved. And I want it to just be you, the people of Yemen right now, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Think about Allah confronting you with these images on the Day of Judgment and asking you, did you not see what was happening to these beloved servants of mine? Did you not see what was happening to these children that were so beloved to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam?